guys takes us out for uh, dinner, and we're finally here in uh, Italy, just like two hours south of Florence, and we're at this. Uh, I don't even know where we're at. Some majestic uh, castle, and we're about to have some food and hang out with uh, Team Gas Gas. What's up guys, it's Will with Ultimate Motorcycling. If you notice the backdrop, we're not in California anymore. We are in Italy. We got an awesome opportunity with uh, Gas Gas to test the, uh, the all new 2024 line of the Enduro, Motocross, and Cross Country lines. So today, we are out here testing pretty much every bike they offer for, for off-road. I focus mostly on the Motocross models. We did, in fact, get to ride some of the Enduro stuff. Uh, they split us up into two groups. So this morning we rode the Enduro track. I got to test out uh, a couple of their two-stroke Enduros that they offer in North America. The bikes are super, uh, super smooth. The two-stroke is uh, fuel injected and electric start, so that's always a plus. Uh, yeah, it was super fun on Enduro. But in the afternoon, we switched over to moto. So I started out on moto with the 250, which is what I normally ride anyway. I'm a 250 guy. And uh, from what I understand, the 250, or actually this whole line is all new. So starting with with the suspension, it's completely new components inside the suspension, uh, both the fork and the shock. Um, and then the triple clamps are pretty new too. So the triple clamps are supposed to add a little bit more flex. Uh, the machine, it's all machined differently here. Um, I did notice a, a little bit more difference in the suspension. It's uh, supposed to be, uh, I guess, a bit more, st more stiff uh, as the, the chassis is as well. So the difference between the 2023 and 2024, I think, is they tried to uh, basically give it a more, I, I guess, a stiffer feel or a rigid feel. Uh, as far as the motor goes, uh, it seems seems pretty similar to the 2023 model. It was really linear on the 250. It was super, super soft, super smooth off the bottom end, and then it started to kind of pick up power a little bit towards the top. I wish the 250 did have a little bit more of a bottom end, but it was still, Still pretty predictable. The good thing about the linear power is it is really pre uh, predictable, super rider friendly. Uh, it's not gonna get away from you or jump around on you. Um, but yeah, it was overall pretty fun. Right after the 250, I hopped on the 350 four stroke and uh, that thing is, uh, it was a lot of fun. It's, it's pretty much a perfect bike if you ask me. It had a lot more bottom end than the 250. Uh, had a really nice hard punch to it, uh, which was really fun, especially here at this particular track. You can't see it, but there's a lot of a uh, lot of like a like, lot of like tight or you know swooping corners with uphills, and which was a lot of fun. And also, they kind of overwatered it a little bit, in my opinion, or a lot of guys' opinions out here. We did have some pretty deep muddy sections. They tilled it really deep, and it got muddy. Uh, so the 250 did kind of struggle a little bit through the mud, um, you know. But it is what it is. The 350, however, had really great uh, bottom end power and also it wasn't quite as linear as the 250 it did kind of pick up a lot on the mid mid to top end range once it got going it 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 wanted to shoot up like or shoot like a rocket um but yeah the, the 350 was probably my favorite bike of the day uh after that i got hopped on the 450 uh that bike's just a beast but uh it was it was it has some power um and uh probably almost a little bit too much but at least for me anyway but it was a lot of fun. Um, with the two strokes, I did spend some time on the 250 two stroke, the MC 250 and the MC 125. The MC 250 is pretty smooth for a two stroke. As I said, they're fuel injected, electric start, which is super nice. The fuel injection, very smooth. Uh, the 250, I kind of expected it to be a little bit more punchy, but it was actually quite, quite linear. The 125 was a lot of fun. Today, as I said, they, they kind of overwatered it. It was super muddy. This thing kind of struggled in the mud, especially on the uphill sections. Um, you'll probably see some, uh, some GoPro footage I have 
<laughs> the bike just sounds like it's going 100 miles an hour, but I'm going, I'm like just crawling up the hills in the mud. But uh, I wish that the track was a little bit more dry to really kind of, you know, put the 125 to the test. But overall, it was a super fun bike. On some of the drier sections of the track, I had a lot of fun around the berms, of course. I haven't rode a two-stroke in a long time, so I was pretty heavy on the clutch, but overall, uh, yeah, super fun. So I think uh, we're gonna have uh, a bit more details coming on with these bikes. We got tomorrow, we're out here again. We have uh, what Gas Gas calls a Tech Talks. So they're gonna give us a bit more in-depth, uh, you know, insights on exactly everything that they've done to the suspension, the chassis, and the motor. So we'll be including all those details uh, later on in a written, uh, written review. Thanks guys for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.